everyone, my name is Mary, and today we're going to be doing the Disney book tag. I was tagged by Jesse the Reader, who tagged anyone who wanted to do it, so thank you. The Disney book tag was created because this book, The Isle of the Lost, came out, and it's a Descendants novel, and it's the prequel to the Disney Channel original movie, Disney Descendants, where all of the um, evil characters' children get to go to school with all of the um, good characters' children. So this is what takes place beforehand. So the first one is the Little Mermaid, a character who is a fish out of water. Someone who doesn't quite fit in. So for this, I chose Percy Jackson from The Lightning Thief. Because hes it's the first time that he's been immersed into this world of the gods and the goddesses. And he does not quite know what to do with all this new information, and then he's just thrown into this quest where he um, has to figure out what exactly his powers are and clear his name at the same time. Next is Cinderella, a character who goes through a major transformation. For this one, I chose Amy and Matthew from Say What You Will. They both go through a huge transformation, helping each other through their struggles, both mental and physical. Next we have Snow White, a book with an eclectic cast of characters. For this one, I chose the Maximum Ride series. I chose the Maximum Ride series because it has a big cast of characters, all with special powers. And although they all can fly, their powers vary. Iggy is a um, character who is blind but can feel color. Um, Angel can control people's minds and put thoughts into people's minds. Next to Sleeping Beauty, a book that puts you to sleep. And for me, that book was Their Eyes Were Watching God. It's not very long, but I hate being told when I have to read books, and so this one just dragged on and on, and I ended up spark noting it for my summer reading project. So, this one definitely put me to sleep. Next is The Lion King, a character who had a traumatic incident as a child, which is the majority of the books on my bookshelf. So let's see. I'm going to go with Candace Sinclair Easton from We Were Liars because the traumatic incident that happened to her really sets the tone for this entire book. And I can't tell you what it is because that would be a spoiler. So Next is Beauty and the Beast, a beast of a book, a big book, that intimidated you at first but you found to be very beautiful. So for this one, I'm going to choose The Three Musketeers. This is my copy of The Three Musketeers. It is huge. And the words are very tiny. I ended up listening to this book, but every time I hear the story told, whether it's through a movie or an audiobook or if I, or I've actually read it, I have loved this story. Now, I have not read The Count of Monte Cristo, but my dad loves that one even more, and so if I think that this one's beautiful, I bet that one's going to be just as beautiful. Next is Aladdin, a character who gets his wish granted for better or worse. And I've actually not picked a book out for this one yet, so give me a minute to pick one. I'm going to go with Finn Whitman from The Kingdom Keepers, which ironically is a book about Disney. Woo! But he gets his wish to become one of these two virtual tour guides that um, leads the people around the parks of, uh, leads these people leads the tourists around the Disney parks. Well, it also draws him into this crazy world of good guys versus villains and um, keeping the villains from taking over the Disney parks and it just keeps going on and on and they are so good and he got his wish. He got to be one of these tour guides but he also got drawn into something that he probably didn't wish for. Next we have Mulan, a character who pretended to be something they're not. 
And for that, I chose the character of Iona in the duology of Eon and Iona, which I don't remember the actual title of the duology. And basically, she pretends to be a guy when she's actually a girl, and that leads to a lot of complications. I'm not going to say any more than that. Next, we have Toy Story, a book with characters that you wish would come to life. And for that, I'm going to choose Fangirl. Now, if the fact that I have three copies of this book doesn't say it, I love this book. And I feel a special connection to Cather, who is um, a twin. I'm not a twin, but her actions, the way she deals with things, and then her craziness, the emergency dance parties, and then her um, tendency to get obsessed with things like Simon Snow. I feel like I would get along with her very well, and I just want her to come to life so I can be her best friend. Yeah, that's it. Next is Disney Descendants, your favorite villainous character. And for me, that's going to be Capricorn from Inkheart. Capricorn literally comes out of the book and just decides to ruin everyone's lives and he is definitely an evil, evil character. Just pure evil as far as I have read. It is... love him. Just love to hate him. You love to hate him. So that is it. I just want to say thank you all for watching. If you liked this video be sure to comment down below and click that like button and you can also subscribe to my channel for more fun videos. Hey guys, it's Mary, and today I'm doing the Disney book tag. Be sure to watch Disney Descendants when it comes on Disney Channel, and go out and buy The Isle of the Lost. Love you all!